so far this year in Modern Warfare, I think it's pretty apparent that assault rifles, LMGs, and pretty much all of the other medium to long range based weapons dominate in most situations. With the exception of the 725 in its current state, most shotguns, pistols, and SMGs don't really excel a ton in this game thanks to the more relaxed playstyle meta that currently overwhelms the game in general. So going into today's conversion kit, I was a little skeptical seeing as I had to use the MP5 in order to build the MP5K. This is a conversion that you guys have been asking for a lot in the comments, so here we are. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we are making the MP5K SMG. But before we get into that, if you are new here or if you are already watching the videos and you haven't yet, feel free to subscribe with your notifications turned on. That way you can stay on top of the latest Call of Duty news and intel. And of course, if you enjoyed the video, let me know by dropping a like rating on it as it would be much appreciated. And now let's convert the MP5 into the MP5K here in Modern Warfare. So this is a setup that definitely takes a bit of patience to one, even get to in the first place, and two, do well with after you have it unlocked and set up. We'll get into my overall thoughts on the MP5K after we go through all the attachments on it, but man oh man, SMGs in this game, particularly in Ground War, can either be detrimentally bad or absolutely phenomenal depending on the type of engagement you're in. Anyways, in order to build the MP5K in this game, you of course need to have the MP5 and from there, you will need to level up the gun nearly to its max level of 57 in order to unlock all the attachments you'll need for this conversion kit. The first attachment you'll end up needing is the FFS Mini Barrel, which obviously falls under the barrel category, and this is the third barrel you end up unlocking. Now, the FFS Mini is a short, compact barrel that sacrifices accuracy and range for speed and agility, and it improves the performance of the weapon in close quarters combat specifically. So, just keep in mind with this one, you are taking an SMG that already has a pretty mediocre range compared to the on-meta weapons in the game like the M4, the Kilo, and the M13, and decreasing it even more. However, it is a necessary sacrifice to truly help create the MP5K. This barrel ends up increasing your ADS speed and your overall movement speed. However, it does also decrease your bullet velocity and your overall recoil control, so just bear that in mind. After that, you are going to need to unlock the FTAC or the FTAC collapsible stock, which unfortunately is going to be the very last stock option you end up getting. I think you unlock it somewhere around weapon level 50, so it will take a hot minute to level up your MP5 enough to get this attachment in the first place. But once again, it is part of the quote unquote mandatory attachments needed for the full conversion. That said, the FTAC collapsible stock is described as the ultimate run and gun modification when agility is more important than precision. AKA, this stock is all about bumping up that overall movement speed. The pros of this weapon are listed as increased movement speed and increased ADS speed, and the cons are decreased aiming stability and decreased recoil control. So already between the two attachments so far, we have a pretty significant loss in recoil control, which ultimately isn't ideal, but once again, a necessary sacrifice. Then attachment number three that I've got on my MP5K is going to be the monolithic suppressor. The classic MP5K with a suppressor was always a go-to option back in the day, so I felt like having a suppressor on this setup fit pretty nicely. Now you do actually have the option of choosing between the tactical suppressor, the monolithic suppressor, and also the lightweight suppressor here. However, the monolithic suppressor actually has increased damage range listed as a pro to go alongside the sound suppression, which to me makes the monolithic suppressor the better choice, especially considering the fact that the damage range on the MP5 isn't super great already, so that is a pretty nice bonus there. Now, those three attachments are essentially the quote-unquote mandatory ones that you'll need to really make this weapon look and feel like the classic MP5K that we all know and love. But of course, and as always with our conversion kits here on the channel, we do like to use all five attachment spots to fully maximize the weapon's potential in general. So with that, attachment number four that I like to use is the stippled grip tape, and you'll notice in the gameplay that the ADS in speed time on this setup is pretty solid in general. It's definitely faster than any of the other conversion kit guns that we've looked at in the past, and the stippled grip tape is a huge factor in that, as it adds an increase to the aim down sight speed and to the sprint to fire speed in exchange for a decrease in the gun's overall aiming stability. 
Now, truth be told, I honestly do think the stippled grip is one of the best attachments that you can run in the entire game. Not just on the MP5K here, but on pretty much everything you possibly can, as that increase to both the ADS and the sprint to fire speeds is absolutely huge in a game like this, where rushing already is not incredibly favored and the time to kill is extremely fast. Anyways, aside from that for my last attachment on the MP5K, I ended up going with the Ranger foregrip as it adds an increase to the recoil control and also to the aiming stability. Two stats that we've kind of destroyed so far, so I think that is a nice way to kind of counteract some of the cons of the previous attachments. However, that said, you could also have something like an optic if you aren't too fond of the iron sights, or even a laser sight since this weapon is primarily dominant in CQC engagements. Now, with all of those attachments on there, you can see via the stat sheet that the accuracy and the mobility both increase, obviously the mobility more than anything else, and the range and the control decrease ever so slightly. So overall, this weapon's performance does differ quite a bit from the stock MP5. So let's talk about how this weapon actually compares to some of the other conversion kits that we've made so far, and just other weapons in general too. Right away, I can tell you the MP5K is going to be the most effective, on maps like Hackney Yard, Azir Cave, and some of these smaller, more compact maps because the range on this thing really is just not that great. Now, strictly for the purpose of showing off the weapon's effectiveness as much as possible, all the gameplay you guys are seeing is from Ground War, and it's kind of an uphill battle in that mode in some matches, depending on how your enemies are playing and or what flags you hold, because you really have to be relatively close to the enemies for this weapon to do well. And even then, if there's a few of them bunched together, it's not going to be a great time because that 30 round mag runs out awfully quickly, even when getting just a couple of kills at a time. There were plenty of moments through my recording session with this gun where I'd stumbled across three or four or even five plus enemies all huddled together and I'd only end up with two or three kills before I got taken out. Just because either I wasn't dealing enough damage to compete with whatever weapon those enemies had, or I ran out of ammo and couldn't reload in time. Needless to say though, up close, this gun is disgustingly good, and it is so, so effective when you are running around a flag area in domination, or clearing out a room in any given building. This gun, when you combine it with, say, Dead Silence and you get that increased FOV, really does make it feel like you are a super soldier in a sense, running around and just slaying out. And then you die to Lil Timmy camping behind his claymores with a 725 and you kind of get brought back to reality. Outside of those close quarters engagements though, this gun really is not the best. It definitely would not be my first choice, that I can say with confidence, and in terms of its overall effectiveness and just general versatility, I'd choose the stock MP5 with different attachments over the MP5K pretty much every single time. I also think the MP5K is outmatched by every single main meta weapon there is in the game right now. The M4A1 easily outguns it, there's no denying that, as do most of the other assault rifles as well. And other SMGs like the AUG and even the P90 can be a better choice in some cases too. So as far as comparing it to other weapons go, the MP5K really is not anything to write home about. Now in comparison to the other conversion kit weapons we've made, honestly I would say it just sits in the middle of the pack. It's definitely not as good as the RPK, but it's also way better than the M16. I would say it is the most similar to the AK-74U in many aspects with its running gun ability, but even the AK-74U has a decent damage range unlike the MP5K. This gun excels in its niche area of CQC, but outside of that, this game doesn't favor a weapon like the MP5K that has a decent amount of recoil and minimal damage range. So, after all of that, would I actually recommend this gun? Honestly, if you are someone who is literally always in the enemy's faces, yes, absolutely this thing shreds up close. But if you do have a more conservative playstyle and you don't really rush around a ton, this weapon is definitely not for you. But with all of that being said, that is effectively how you can make the MP5K here in Modern Warfare. If you found the video helpful or if you just simply enjoyed it, let me know by dropping a like rating on it as it would be much appreciated. And of course, if you are new here and you want to stay up to date with everything going on in the world of Call of Duty, including all the latest news and intel, updates and leaks, and pretty much everything else in between, feel free to subscribe with your notifications turned on, that way you'll always know when I post a new video. As always, be sure to use code IMMORTAL on all G Fuel, Control Freak, and Respawn products. All of those links can be found down in the description below, and once again, thanks so much for tuning in. 
Until next time, take it easy, have an awesome rest of your day, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.